all right what is going on youtube um we are back a little bit shorter video today just because uh, i took my camera and it was already pretty low battery and it just it died on me about halfway through this workout so i didn't get to record all the accessories i didn't record all my uh, pull-ups and everything i did after but did get every set of farmer's walks that i did and i think two or three sets of the t-ball rows that i did which is kind of the main the main heavy accessory that was after this um, primary movement so like i talked about before this is kind of our main deadlift day even though we aren't actually doing any deadlifts um except i guess the first rep of the farmer's walk you could consider kind of like a uh, a trap bar or a hex bar deadlift and it is a true deadlift you are picking it up from the ground and then uh and then walking with it so in my eyes probably one of the most general exercises we can do as humans is walking so adding weight to that and be it in the hands or on the back or however exactly you load the body with that weight i don't think it matters so much obviously when we load the uh when we're actual actually actually <laughs> can't say that word well when we're actually axially loading the body it's a little different than hoarding the weight in the hands uh, so when we're hoarding the weight in the hands grip strength is going to be obviously stressed to a high degree which is one of the reasons we're doing this uh some people will simplify this to just grip and it's not just grip there's more going on than just the just the grip but that is usually the limiting factor um and you will see on a few of these or on one in particular where i didn't put enough chalk on and i didn't quite get all the way back but besides that i was pretty much able to get my full distance definitely going a little bit more than the prescribed 40 feet but that's okay this is my first time doing these at tss and just the farmer's handles that they have are a little bit more conducive to uh, to being able to do these uninterrupted. Every time I've done them at Primal, the clips just don't stay on. I just find that this, the way that these are manufactured where the pin is vertical, so you stack the weights on it, kind of like you would a yoke. Um, you don't have to worry about putting clips on because the weight isn't going anywhere versus if you have to put it on like a normal barbell and uh, put clips on, there's just a lot of turbul turbulence during farmer's walks. It express it brings out any asymmetries you might have in your walking too. So every time I've done them at least once at Primal, all the plates have popped off and I've had to completely stop, reset, put all the plates back on, put the clip back on, try to make sure it's secure. Not ideal. So like I said, a little bit quicker video, but I wanted to keep you guys updated. We've been pretty consistently knocking these out, so I want to keep uh, keep that trend going. Again, uh, I appreciate all of you for watching. If you have any any questions or any comments or anything, drop them down below. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel, and I'm going to keep uh, keep pumping these videos out. I think tomorrow is the final day of the week, leg day, and we'll get uh, we'll get with that one out as well.